Series 12 of Doctor Who may still be a long way off, but I thought in today's video I might as well share 12 hopes that I have for the new series. I hope you enjoy! Hi guys and welcome to today's video where I will be talking about 12 hopes that I have for the new series of Doctor Who. So this is a video I actually did before series 11 as well and that time I did 11 hopes. Hopefully you can see the pattern here. Um, and yeah, when I rewatched the video I actually found it quite fascinating just seeing how many of my predictions came true. So I thought I might as well do it again for series 12. Without further ado, this is my list. So the first item on my list is I want Chris Chibnall to either write better stories or to just write less episodes entirely. Uh, just like many other fans, I did feel like Chris Chibnall's episodes in series 11 were weaker than the other writers. Um, really, the only episodes I enjoyed were The Woman Who Fell to Earth and The Ghost Monument and Rosa as well, but I like to think that was more Mallory Blackman writing that episode. So out of the, I think, five, four or five episodes Chris Chibnall wrote, I only liked the first two, essentially, or three, including Rosa. Um, which is not a good sign, considering he's the showrunner, he's the guy in charge of the show now, um, and you would have thought, because it's his vision of the show, those episodes would be the best, because they're the characters he's created, he knows the direction he wants to take the show in. Um, but alas, what we actually got was quite average episodes, um, in my opinion. And the better episodes were Rosa, easily my favourite episode of the series. Kablam was very good as well. Demons of the Punjab, that's the other one I really liked. And all three of those episodes involved guest writers. So yeah, Chris Chibnall, I think of all the writers that we've had in series 11, he was the weakest. So I do think if series 12 is to be better than series 11... He either needs to up his game with writing the episodes or just allocate less episodes for him to write. I would also like there to be more powerful historical episodes, much like what we had in series 11. So the episodes I'm on about are Rosa and Demons of the Punjab. Both of those episodes were really strong emotional stories um, not necessarily about a famous historical figure, more about important issues. So obviously with Rosa, that's all about racism and what Rosa Parks did to combat that and make a stand. And then in Demons of the Punjab, it was more about the consequences of the partition of India. They were up there as being some of my favourite episodes of the series because I just thought they were so well written so well directed and acted as well just everything came together in those episodes um, and they actually had meaning as well it wasn't just sci-fi it was using a sci-fi show to talk about very important issues and I would just love to see more episodes like that to be honest in series 12. Number three is that I want two parters to return as much as I do like the sort of anthology idea of every episode being standalone. For me, as someone that's always going to watch the show, it just becomes a bit too repetitive. Like I did find a lot of this is down to the writing as well, I should say, but towards the end of the series, I swear you had quite a few episodes ending in exactly the same way with the Doctor and her friends just leaving in the TARDIS and whatever guest characters were in that episode, they just watch as the TARDIS flies away. Uh, and that does get quite boring after a while. Whereas with a two-part story, what's really exciting about that is you've got cliffhangers, which I just adore. I love cliffhangers. 
it's a really good way to build up excitement for the following week's episode. Um, it's a good chance to put the Doctor and her friends in jeopardy as well, genuine danger. You've got more time to flesh out the characters, the setting, the monsters, and everything doesn't feel as rushed when you've got a two-part story. So that's why I want two-parters to return. Number four is that I want there to be more companion-centric stories. The main reason I want this, really, is just so that we can get to know the Doctor's friends some more. Yes, we already know a fair bit about their backstories, but I do feel like in Series 11, Graham and Ryan are defined by the fact that Grace has passed away. Now that they've had time to come to terms with her death, I do want to see the other sides to their characters, if that makes sense. And I think having more companion-centric stories is a good way to do that. Number five is that I want the Doctor to be given a lot more to do. Uh, so as much as I love the 13th Doctor, um, I do feel like one of the issues of Series 11 is her character wasn't really challenged that much. She just turned up, had a mystery to solve, and that was it. Whereas if you look back on a lot of previous series, um, especially the David Tennant series, because that's what I've been re-watching a lot of recently, every now and then you get a story that focuses on the Doctor. So ones that immediately spring to mind are School Reunion. That's all about how the Doctor leaves his companions behind eventually and what they go on to do with their lives. You've got the Series 3 finale, which is all about him not actually being the last of the Time Lords. There's just so many stories throughout the first few years. And actually, I suppose, in Moffat's era as well, quite a few stories about the Doctor himself slash herself. Whereas in Series 11, it's never about her. So moving forward, I would like there to be one or two stories that actually focuses on the Doctor and we get to see her challenged in a way that we've never seen her challenged before. At number six, I really want there to be much better new monsters than what we had in series 11. So much like with other fans, I do think that the creatures we got in series 11 weren't that memorable. Uh, Tim Shaw I liked. And that's about it, to be honest. Um, Going through them all quickly, the remnants were just rags that only appeared in the final five minutes of the episode. Crasco, as much as I liked him, he was just a space racist. The giant spiders, okay, they're good, but they're hardly original. Um, loads of other shows and films have done giant spiders, and even Doctor Who has done it before. Then we've got the Pating, which, yes, it was cute and had a unique idea, but I didn't ever find it threatening. Then we had the Thagerians, I think they're called, in Demons of the Punjab. Nice design, but they weren't evil in the end, so they weren't threatening either. The robots in Kablam were alright, but robots have been done before. The Morax were okay, they looked creepy, but didn't really do much. And most of the time they did look human, uh, besides the end. Then we had the Space Moths, which easily forgotten about, and then it was Tim Shaw again. So throughout 10 episodes, we didn't really have that many decent new monsters. So looking ahead to series 12, I do think that is something Chris Chibnall and his team need to work on. Still on the topic of monsters, I want more creatures from previous series to make a reappearance. So this is something that already is bound to come true because we know that the Jadoon are returning, at least, which I was just delighted with, because I've always liked the Jadoon and their very unique way of speaking. But I do think I would like more monsters to return, not just them. Uh, I definitely think classic monsters should make a reappearance as well. Seeing episodes like Cold War and the Sontaran Stratagen episodes that reintroduced classic monsters for a whole new generation. Those are episodes that I found really fascinating because for me, 
they felt like brand new creatures because obviously I'd never seen them before. But at the same time, I knew that they had appeared in the show before. So I suppose in a way that convinces me to go back and watch the classic Who episodes that they're in. Um, I don't know. I don't know what point I'm trying to make with this. But I just think to spice up the series a bit and just in case Chris Chibnall isn't very good at creating new monsters, which you could argue he isn't going off series 11, bring back old monsters, make us fans happy, um, and then series 12 will have a better response than series 11. Still talking about the monsters and creatures of Doctor Who, at number 8 is the fact that I really want Chris Chibnall's scariest monster ever to finally appear. So if you saw my 11 hopes for series 11 video, this was one of the points I brought up then. Um, and the really annoying thing is, I cannot for the life of me find the article that first mentions this. So you're literally just going to have to go off what I say. But I do remember a few years ago, around about the time where series 7 came out, there was an interview with Stephen Moffat and he talked about when he gave the two episodes to Chris Chibnall to write, he originally created what Stephen Moffat called the scariest monster ever idea, but sadly they couldn't work it into the episode because it was just too expensive to do. And ever since then, I was desperate for Chris Chibnall to write another episode of Doctor Who in the hope that we would finally see that monster realised. Um, and obviously going into series 11, knowing that Chris Chibnall is now the showrunner, I thought he would want to bring in the monster then. I struggle to understand why, if the idea for that monster was so good, why hasn't Chris Chibnall put it in the five episodes he's written so far for the new series? But I'm still holding out hope that he's got the idea locked away in his brain and is waiting for the right story to bring it out. And hopefully that will be in series 12. Number nine is a bit of a funny point. I really want there to be more episodes that have different music over the credits. Honestly, Rosa and Demons of the Punjab. Part of the reason they stand out so much in my mind is for those incredible endings. Not just with the themes explored and... Uh, Segan Akinola's brilliant soundtrack but the fact that the soundtrack or different music entirely plays over the credits instead of the Doctor Who theme tune I just really like that um, and I think what it is is the fact that you're not taken out of the story straight away the fact the music carries over allows you to think about what you've just watched um, it did with me, anyway. I'm not sure about the rest of you. But, yeah, I just adore those episodes all the more for it. And I just really hope we have more episodes in Series 12 that do the same. At number 10, I hope that the cast changes after Series 12. As much as I like the current cast, I do sort of think it is too many people in the TARDIS. Um, I'm well aware that four people can work, like we did have that throughout Russell T Davis's era and Stephen Moffat's as well, for a couple of episodes at a time, but I feel like in this new era, and as things stand, with the fact that, like I said earlier, we still haven't really got to know the characters that well, I do think the lineup should be changed slightly, and at least one character should leave. I think if all the Doctor's friends were to stay in the TARDIS after Series 12, I would be quite bored because that's now 20 episodes with these characters, which you could argue is more than needed. Number 11 is that I really hope the new series has much better trailers than what we got in Series 11. I liked the first few trailers we got before the series even aired, but besides those two, I just found the marketing for series 11 terrible. 
I thought the glass ceiling trailer was a bit too in your face, but it's more the next time trailers that I take issue with because they were too short. I think the producers made the mistake of having the music carry on onto the trailers. So I know I've literally just said that I like music carrying on into the credits, but I think by the time it comes to the next time trailer, you should have music that fits the theme of that trailer. I mean, what immediately springs to mind, I think it was after Demons of the Punjab, you've got all that Indian music, and that plays on top of the trailer for Kablam, and it's just very jarring, it doesn't fit at all. But yeah, no, my main issue with the trailers is they just didn't build up excitement for me for the following episode. They should have done, considering that was literally our only glimpse of what the episode would be about, because obviously Chris Chibnall did really well keeping spoilers under wraps. Um, but just, I think even the editing was a bit, you know, a bit off. They felt tacked on to me right at the end of the credits, just a short 15 second teaser and knowing what we've had before um, and how good trailers we've had before, I was just very disappointed by them. So I do think in series 12, that should be something that Chris Chibnall and everyone else looks at improving. And finally, the 12th thing that I hope happens in series 12 is that we have much better behind the scenes. So I don't know about any of you guys, but if you had been watching that Access All Areas show that was on YouTube from the official BBC or Doctor Who YouTube channel, I just thought it was a big disappointment, to be honest. Uh, too short. Truth be told, I didn't like the presenter. I felt like she didn't really care about the show. And just the whole thing, it just felt like they'd taken random behind the scenes clips put them together in this 10 minute video and the only reason that presenter was there was to link all the clips together and that style just didn't work for me. I would much rather have either Doctor Who Confidential return or failing that, I thought the after show was quite good. I know some people gave it some flack but I really liked it myself or if even that's too difficult to organise, just having the 10 minute behind the scenes on their own like we had with I think all of Peter Capaldi although I think they were much shorter for him um, but yeah I just found a lot of the clips we had for series 11 besides the ones that focused on a particular thing those ones were okay but it's when they had random ones like um, I seem to remember there was this terrible really badly edited video where it was an interview with Mandip Gill and whoever made it just felt the need to repeat certain parts of what Mandip says. I think they were trying to be edgy and funny but it just did not work at all. It just got me thinking really that looking at the behind the scenes now compared to what we used to have it's a lot poorer um, so that would be something that I really want Chris Chibnall to improve on. So thank you very much for watching this video. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like and feel free to put in the comments down below what you're hoping happens in series 12 when it eventually airs. Is there a monster you want to return? Is there a particular story you're hoping for? Um, do you want Chris Chibnall to not write any episodes? Let me know, I'll be really interested to hear it. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you all next time. Bye!